people nowadays are talking about inspire, how to inspire, getting inspired, how can one be inspiring, and how to inspire others. But what actually inspire is? Inspiring comes from the noun inspiration and inspire is verb. It is made of two Latin words, in, which in to, inspirare, breathe. Thus, inspirare means breathe or blow into. Inspire means to fill someone with the urge or ability to do or fill something, especially to do something creative. This all started with our hero campaign in November. We wanted to prove that everyone can be a hero. So it comes up with the act giving campaign for December. Shall we make a charity? Doing some research and we stumble an, an optimized charity campaign by a teacher in Wamena. Contacted her and thought we should fly to Wamena to complete the campaign also by some primary school and come up with campaign video. However, many people thought us not to get there before we are completely secure because there is free Papua movement just quite dangerous for outsiders to come. And we think about it, we think about it, we think about it. And moreover, we have never been to Papua at all, so it ending up we hesitant to fly. So we called back the teachers up there. You should it safe? They said, yes, it is really safe here. We are often get to the age, like the condition I just told you. And automatically, our brain tells us to step back. It happens all the time. Always step back. Because we might be in danger. And our brain is designed to keep us safe. So you have to be willing to play between your brain and your soul. On some days, we're just gonna listen to your soul. We're gonna say, we're gonna live, we're gonna get to the age. And here, we bought the flight ticket, which is uber expensive to fly to Amena. With only a bit of plan, 85% sure what will happen, but it was haunted with the uncertainties. We just believe goodwill can be protected by positive vibes. We don't want to miss this opportunity to help others fail because of our scarcity. So, we want to safely and get out of the not to get local motor ride because they might rip your money. Dan katanya kita harus mencari naik ojek, tapi orang pendatang. But we have no clue. After minutes of walking, we found him, drove to school, passed by those beautiful scenery. Voila! We made it to the school. As they hit the pegging in Apua. Right there we talk to the principal, teachers and kids there. We find out what they need actually. There are 300 kids on the school from primary one to six. Some of them do wear uniform, mostly no. They wear anything they have from home. Not often, we see no changes with their clothes. Barefooted walk from home to the school. But they are happy with the way they live. We often describe happiness with money and glamorous, but in fact, I learned how their happiness can be defined as simple as playing football, playing jump on the rope, or even swimming in the pond. Majority of the elders are farming, but some of them think education is important for the children. Saya tidak bersekolah. Baru saya harapkan saya itu saya punya anak ini harus sekolah baik supaya dia jadi manusia baik. During the day, we observe how the kids were doing at school. Teacher always remind them that someday they'll be able to come to Jakarta and do great things. But first, study is important. We also motivate them by asking, "What is your dream?" Some kids say they want to be a sub district head. The other might say, "Kalau cita-cita mau jadi apa, Maggie Son?" They keep silent. And one thing I realized that education plays an important role in shaping our future. It's not about the hard skills we learn at school, but the way we think, the way we see things, and that's the way we dream is somehow contributed through our future. But facility is not less important. We saw the lack of desk and chair, forcing the kid to sit tightly during the school hours. Lack of books, lack of stationery. I believe it is our vocation to help these kids as they are the future of our nation. Most people are at the age. You are at the age. Watching someone else's life on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Wondering what it's going to be like when you jump without ever jumping. And I am here just to tell you, jump. Because there are only three things that can happen. You are either going to jump and fly, or you are going to jump and fall on something soft. Or last, you are going to fall down hard. Either way, you are going to get back up. You don't want to leave this place without us knowing you are here. I am not an extraordinary man. All I want is giving my dream a chance. An ordinary man who 
could choose every day to make one more extraordinary decision. I am William Sudana and this is how I inspire you.